Hey everybody, welcome back to These Nerdy Things. So, I was originally going to open some Mercadian masks for you guys um, on the channel, but unfortunately that video in which I actually opened them got corrupted. Um, so, I know Andrew L. had uh, requested this uh, video, um, so I still wanted to let Andrew see some of the Mercadian mask cards that I just opened. Um, you know, albeit without the actual pack opening, uh, but I'll go through all the cards and then I do have some uh, fo other foils and stuff like that that I wanted to show off um, here too from my own collection. So uh, here will be the cards that I did open. So some of the good ones that I got, um, Haunted Crossroads, uh, very cool card that I used to play with actually. A uh, three-man enchantment um, that you could just pay one and put a target creature card from your graveyard on top of your library. Um, so there wasn't a lot of exiling back then. Um, there, what there's another card that I'll show you that actually exiles, but it's not actually called that back then. So this was a really really powerful card um, that you could uh, actually just manipulate your library if you had a really good card that kept dying, or you could sacrifice stuff, keep putting it back on top of your library. So snuff out another good one that you could. Just pay for a life instead of paying its mana cost and you destroy a non-black creature. So, um, pretty, pretty cool. Did get a dark ritual. Um, then, uh, here are some of the other just, uh, commons on commons. Uh, Buoyancy, Cavern Crawler, Deepwood Drummer. That guy just blasting away on those drums in the forest. Task Force, Rushwood Herbalist, Moment of Silence. Diplomatic Immunity, another really fun card that I used to play with. Um, power level isn't so great anymore, but it's a two-mana enchant creature, um, and it gives this hexproof, and it gives a creature hexproof. So that was kind of an oddity back in the day. So uh, Rouse, Battle Rampart, Snorting Gar, Darting Merfolk, Highway Robber, Rashad and Cut Purse, Thunderclap, Land Grant, Ramosian Rally, Deadly Insect. I feel like this card probably wouldn't be, uh, the, or at least the art wouldn't be printed today. Uh, probably would be deemed, you know, kind of either bland or not cool enough. But I, I just really like the campy aspect of that. That just is gone from all cards nowadays. So, Balloon Peddler, Enslaved Horror. Ghoul's Feast, here's another one that would probably be like, ah, oh, that's kind of bland, but I think it's kind of got a cool style, so. Kateran Persuader, Blaster Mage, Vendetta, Drake Hatchling, Furious Assault, Giant Caterpillar, Dehydration, Peat Bog, Flailing Soldier. Here we got that uh, drummer boy just going ham on those drums again. Uh, Task Force, Rashad and Airship, Moment of Silence, Last Breath, Righteous Aura, Henge Guardian, Renounce, Robberfly, and Crenellated Wall. So those were the commons and uncommons that, uh, that I pulled from those packs. So the rares, um, three rares that I got, we have a Sand Squid. Uh, which just basically it's through four mana two two um, it does have island walk so can't be blocked if opponent controls islands but uh, you cannot untap it if you don't want to and then it kind of is like a prison for the uh, um, for a car uh, creature on the other opponent's side so uh, had some value back then but not really um, then we have midnight ritual so this was the card that I was talking about with exiling so remove X target creature cards in your graveyard from the game. So nowadays I would just say exile X target creature cards in your graveyard from the game. Um, and then you can put in uh, little zombie creature tokens. So um, uh, that was one of the rarer. I feel like they weren't very common like they are today. Um, but that not really much value in that. And then I did get another spirit. It's kind of funny. I did call this card. Um, I just said, oh, it'd be funny if I got another Nether Spirit. So, um, 
three mana, two, two, and if it's the only creature card in your graveyard, then during your upkeep, you can put them into play. So you can do some shenanigans with sacrificing creatures, stuff like that. Um, so I actually do have a foil another spirit. You can kind of see how awesome that is compared to the regular card. Um, so we have that, and then I have a few other that I'll show you here real quick. We've got Giant Caterpillar. <clears throat> We've got a Kateran Persuader. I mean, this just, it just pops off the card, these old. And then I do have a, let me get this in the focus, Cinder Elemental. The red on camera, it looks a little bit duller, but in person, it's just as cool. So... Yeah, those are the foils that I have down here. Um, another spirit, uh, giant caterpillar, Kateran persuader, and cinder elemental. So, unfortunately, I'm sorry, Andrew L, that I couldn't actually show you opening the packs and going through those. A little bit of anticlimactic there, um, but I wanted to at least show you the cards because you asked for it um, uh, of what I got and opening for you. So. Uh, hopefully in the future I can open more and actually show that on camera and the uh, video won't get corrupted. So um, pretty cool old school foils too that I did have. Um, these only come one in every uh, 100 cards. So you usually have to, you know, about seven packs to um, actually open before you uh, before you really have a, a solid chance at opening one of these. So fortunately I didn't get one but that's just kind of how it goes. So, all right, everybody, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Andrew L., hope you enjoyed it. Um, and uh, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.